Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today I have another how-to video for you. I'll add it to my how-to series playlist. This one today is coming out of the final chapter in the book of Job. And I've journaled this phrase that Job says to the Lord at the end of the chapter. He says, you can do all things. So because this is a how-to video, I am going to be going into a little bit of detail about acrylic paint in your Bible, but I hope that I'll also have a chance to share with you some of the things I was excited about in the scripture today. So as you can see here, I have a palette. I have my Bible. I have just five colors of acrylic paint. I have a couple different kinds of paint brushes that I use with my acrylic paint and some are fancy, some are cheap. I'm going to be using a paper towel today, obviously a jar of water, and then a old gift card or membership card or something like that to apply some paint to my page. I'm giving you a peek here at how I'm setting up my palette for today's page. Basically, I'm just showing you how many different color varieties you can make just from red, yellow, and blue. And there's some white and black down in the corners as well, and those are just useful for lightening or darkening the colors as we go. I picked up this little Bible mat here, or what I'm using for a Bible mat, at a thrift store. And it was actually, I think, first intended for embroidery of some type, but it has these grid lines already on it. And so that's what I'm using to help me get my letters on the page here. And I'm using a permanent Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen just to sketch those letters on. Later, I'll go back and darken them up. But for now, I just wanted them on the page before I started placing my background. Now this technique here, this is one way that you can use acrylic paint in your Bible. I in no way am taking credit for inventing this method. You can find videos all over YouTube demonstrating how to do this. Basically, you just put a little bit of paint right on the edge of that card, and then you just gently, or actually somewhat firmly, kind of slide the card across your Bible. For this page, I'm going up and down and side to side. So I'm sort of keeping all my strokes perpendicular to one another. And I'm also sticking within the same sort of color family on the color wheel. So if you think about the rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, I am using yellow, green, blue, and those are all right next to each other. And so that's going to help this technique not get too muddied up as the colors sort of overlay one another. So the inspiration for this page actually came to me as I was mixing colors on my palette. I ended up with this really fun terracotta orange and it just started making me think of potted plants and it is the spring and so I'm just seeing so many beautiful flowers out at garden stores and farms and things like that. And it also just made me think about how God can do all things. He sustains plants. He sustains nature. He sustains us. And so I kind of just went with this idea of adding some of these potted plants here and there along the bottom of my page. So this is kind of the second way that I'm featuring that you can use acrylics in your Bible. And that is just to paint in a very normal fashion as you would if you were painting on a canvas or a different piece of paper, anything really. Now these two pages I do want to mention are not prepped at all. So acrylic is something that will not bleed through. You can use it in your Bible directly on the Bible page without using any gesso or matte gel medium at all. And acrylics actually also work to prep the page itself. So something you might just quickly take note of is that as I was spreading the paint out with that card where the lettering is, I was actually really sure to cover all of the page where my lettering is going to be. Later, I'm going to be going in with a big brush pen that sometimes can bleed through the Bible page, but you'll see at the end that because there's acrylic paint under where I'm going to be adding that big brush pen on my lettering, it's actually not going to bleed through at all. So acrylic paint is just a super fun medium to use in your Bible. I don't know why I don't use it more often, 
maybe just because it takes time to get the palette ready and all of that, but it sure does give a very fun look to the page and the colors are just super vibrant and opaque and it's just super fun to play around with. As you can see, I've gone in and added some darker shading and shadowing to those pots and that really has made them look a bit more three-dimensional on the page. I'm now going in and adding some leaves. Now some of these leaves I'm doing a downstroke and pressing firmly. Others I'm kind of pressing very lightly and doing upstrokes and that way I'm getting two different types of leaves here. So there's some wider leaves that are going to be kind of tulips and then there's some smaller leaves that are gonna be other kinds of wildflowers and things. I mixed up kind of a dark grayish brown color and I'm adding it sort of in the background on whatever it is these pots are sitting on. And this is just gonna kind of ground the page, give the pots something to be sitting on so that they're not just sort of floating around in space. And as you can see, that kind of made that dumped out dirt disappear. So I'm adding a little bit of white on top of it. Now acrylics will actually dry darker as time goes on. So when you first apply them to your page, they might look a little bit light and then they will darken up. So keep that in mind as you're mixing colors, as you're applying things to the page, err on the side of going a little bit lighter because those colors are going to darken up. It's kind of the opposite of watercolor. When you use watercolor, the paint is actually going to dry lighter than it was when you first applied it to the page. So that's a really good thing to keep in mind as you're going through this process. So I'm just adding some tulips, I'm adding some daisies, and I'm letting my acrylic paint not be perfectly mixed. So it's okay that the daisies have some pink and some purple. It's okay that the tulips have yellow and white. In fact, I was just really enjoying adding some white on top of all kinds of different flowers along the way, just to give dimension. So these purple flowers, for instance, I'm just kind of stippling my brush, kind of pouncing it on the paper, and then I'm going over the top of it with a little bit of white. And that just makes these flowers look three-dimensional and sort of brings the page to life. Once I was happy with my pots and my flowers, I wanted to make sure that the page was extra, extra, super, super dry. I am notoriously messing up pages when I get impatient and don't wait for them to dry. So I wanted to make sure that wasn't gonna be the case here today. And then I used a piece of scratch paper to cover up the painted part while I went in and thickened up my lettering. That's gonna protect my sleeve and also protect the painting itself. You can do all things. This is an amazing phrase coming from Job. Job went through so much, you guys. He had sickness. He had death in his family. He suffered so much. And he cried out to God. And he was angry with God. There were times that I believe he struggled with disbelief. In the end here, he tells the Lord, you can do all things. And that's the conclusion that Job has come to, is that God can do all things. And later in this group of verses that I'm outlining here, he even says that he repents and he despises himself for having doubted the Lord. Such a convicting passage of scripture. As you can see, I did go with kind of my little double outline method for highlighting the scripture on the page, kind of mimics the pattern of blue in the background. I'm adding some personal journaling to the margin on the opposite side from the major artwork there. And I wanna give you a glimpse of the back of these pages. As you can see, acrylic paint is just an awesome thing to use in your Bible because it does nothing to the page behind it or in front of it. And here's where I was talking about that I did my lettering really nice and dark with those brush pens, but the acrylic paint underneath the pen is acting like a primer, and so I have no bleed through from the lettering either. Here's a final look at the finished product. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this inspires you to jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. 
If you did enjoy this video, on the next screen I'll share a couple more videos with you that you might also enjoy. Don't forget to click on my face to go check out my channel. Be sure you've clicked the subscribe button as well as the little bell button next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.